What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire at All. Let's play as the Kingdom, as the Republic of Venice. And in this episode, we are under attack by an awful lot of enemies. <laughs> um, so we're going to try and defend Hungary as much as we can. Let's try make it so that we don't bring in cavalry or artillery. Um, pikes might be quite useful. Definitely not conscripts. Something like that's probably good. The very last thing we want is more cavalry. We've got a couple of units ourselves, which is which is more than enough. Um, but yes, we're going to. It's going to be interesting. Um, so what I'm going to do is, well, the general rule is that the AI loves a breach. Once it gets a breach, they'll go for it. So when you start to get outnumbered like this, you have to watch where the enemy makes their breach and then help them along a bit. You end up wanting to make the breach as quickly as possible so that as few units as possible <clears throat> attempt to scale the walls. And then when they're in that central area, that's when they are at their most vulnerable. So I think what I'm going to want to do is to try and put as many of my regular infantry hmm, minimize my regular infantry on the walls and try keep them down low. Okay, so they're coming in from sort of that direction. That's good. Okay, remember that. Okay, so deploy everybody out here. Firstly, ooh, I get I do get defenses. That's really handy. Spread out my howitzers in, the, in towards the rear, where they're least they are the least likely to get in. So militia, if well, chiefly, let's put conscripts here because this is going to be the area. One of these areas is going to be where they make their breach. Let's try and use. other conscripts to try and create a bit of a killing field for their cavalry when they start pouring in. So because the length of the defence you put in doesn't actually grow as you make your unit longer, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's put my foot artillery just down here in the center. Fire it will off. Let's fortify some of these blank positions. Because putting the defenses here means that if they breach here or here, both of these areas are largely covered. It's you, you... So the plan will be, that will do for now, three units in reserve, although, let's try and assume these units are going to be permanently positioned in a defensive manner. This unit could take position in the armory, but it might be better off just putting yet another defense in the way. Get people out of the way. Let my howitzers just shoot at whatever they want to shoot at for now. I want to be able to set up my defensive position. Okay, so they're going after the right hand breach. Let's get my carcass shotting howitzers to focus on. Ah, uh, yes. Let us not forget. Cavalry that is currently not 
in the walls. Although, actually, let's probably put the... Squeak the cavalry in like so. Let's put a unit of conscripts up here. Cavalry is starting to charge, so they think... But that's where the enemy artillery is focusing on this section of the wall. You can't actually shoot at your own wall, but what you can do is attack it and attempt to uh, speed up the breach. Because then once they have their breach, she's quite a good, she managed to lure the guard core in, which is quite nice. push them back. So the Polish coming in from the back, which is directly away from us, which is really handy. Although actually I might cease fire with my foot artillery because they appear to be wandering off to the right a bit. So let's Sadly, I think you might, may struggle to hit units too far over on the right. Let's find out. Let's aim at that unit of grenadiers. See if you can successfully loft them over the wall. But I think that's going to be the name of the game. When they start attacking, if they... Ooh, there's their quick climb. So you are incredibly vulnerable. just about clear the wall here. Good hit on the Grenadiers. Lots of cavalry sat back, but that's fine. Our artillery on the walls is firing back at the enemy. And the howitzer's down to one gun. We start engaging these Hessian Jaeger. Artillery still striking home at the back. We are picking off their cavalry as well, which is nice. Lots of cavalry, lots of infantry at the back from the the uh, holes. Are they just going to sit there and engage us? Are they? Yep, seemingly. Ooh, good angle. Excellent. That grenadier target can no longer needs to be engaged. I mean, the militia and so on is fine. Switched around shot and just... Well, no, the cavalry's fine. We've got lots of options. Well, when, when we make our breach, the cavalry will be dealt with. Focus on the grenadiers, I suppose. If they're grenadiers... Okay, they're just going to engage us. So I don't think they're ever going to get back here. Let's actually make sure you guys do run in. You are struggling to hit the units on the right now, so focus on the Dragoons. Which maybe attack ground here to damage their cavalry. These units on the left, however... They are seemingly content to attack us, but their carcass shot is going to cause problems down the line. Let's get one unit to keep attacking the breach. I do want a breach. 
I'm probably going to have to limber you guys up to pull you back here to keep so that you're able to lob shells onto into the breach. But let's assume that this is where we are going to focus our efforts. End up positioning ourselves to take that into account. Good hits on the enemy there. There we go. Move these conscripts over to here. Although some of them are stuck, so they may never actually man the wall. So let's maybe make, instead make you do it. Thanks, Pad Infantry have been routed. We can hold them off for a while, but I think we do. Okay, let's replace. Yeah, we need to make that breach sooner rather than later. Replace these two line infantry units here. Conscripts take up that position and limber the guns. They're falling back. I think they're waiting to make their breach. Not sure who the Grenadier Guards are going to attempt to attack. The Hessian Jaeger are going to try. Just keep attacking their infantry, their weak infantry. Howitzers, once they've taken up position, they are also going to engage the the area where we desire to breach. Mm -hmm, misfire. There's lots of cavalry coming in, so it would, it's definitely worthwhile making the breach because then we can lure they'll just die on these breaches Hessen Jaeger 50% try and kill these attack these grenadier guards as they come in Withdraw all these militia. Kill the enemy general. For one and an enemy general, Oscar Strobo. A random bouncing shot from the walls took him out. Keep the gatehouse occupied or manned. Prevent anyone from cheekily gaining access to it. Possible angle here for enemy cavalry. Yes, yeah, so I do want to make a breach because there's lots of cavalry roaming, and when we've made, when we've got rid of as much of their infantry as possible, they'll just run in and die on our defences. guys don't shoot. Seventy-five percent. Make sure these conscripts specifically man the gatehouse.
could man the armory. That could that could um, that sometimes lures troops in, which means they can get shot to pieces from the guys outside the wall. Okay, here we go. It's always a bit risky doing this. As an example, it means that they will kind of abandon attacking the wall here. Okay, there we go. Canister shot. The bejesus out of this area. We're going to have to uh, commit more troops to attack this force pushing up the there we go so now they're coming in fire at will attack ground with carcass shot keep this howitzer unit just picking off anything I suppose Blunderbuss shotgunners are attempting to get up some mischief. Send some cavalry out to deal with them. Come on, come on, you can come in now. You can run out and deal with his blunderbuss chaps, that would be super. These engineers are attempting to scale the wall, but typically that means they are not going to do that. No, keep you guys here. There's a risk that those guys don't successfully get out of the castle wall. I think I might have to, have to make them run away somewhere else. Here we go. shot in. There comes a unit of provincial horse. So what should happen is you fellows decide you want to run straight in and that's super duper because ah oh, they've changed their mind. Couple of units retreated. Yeah, sadly, you guys are never going to garrison the wall properly. It's maybe I might have to run you off the wall. Whoa, you guys. Get back. In there, that's a few units retreating. Try and keep one unit picking off enemy units. If I can run these guys out of the gate, that would be fantastic. Provincial cavalry. Excellent. 
all of our cavalry is now out of the gate. So you might go this way. Probably threaten all of this enemy artillery. You'll probably get caught out, but that's okay. Oh, here comes enemy cavalry. This is what we wanted to see. So cost efficient. There's enemy cavalry that's formed diamond formation. They're going to chase me down. Regiment of line infantry is going to try and scale. No, not you guys. Engineers are now trying to scale the wall. Okay, right, you need to nail it towards those guns because the lancers are chasing after you, but they're tired. So are you. Attacking enemy engineers. Maybe easier to make this a second breach. There's no infantry coming, then we're going to go for it. We're going to knock this section down as well. Chasing us down, but not fast enough. You're winded and your heavy cavalry. Okay, let's get you guys back off of this section of the wall. Don't let them catch you. Only just got to make them rout. I mean, they're not doing anything. In theory, that's better for us, but... Not in the spirit of the... Spirit of the, the game. Don't let them catch you. Kill the gunners, then rout. For the most part, a lot of these units can kind of just cease fire. They appear to not be super keen on pushing the attack. If the cavalry gets us, they're definitely going to rout without killing the gunners, which would be unfortunate, but to be fair, we have flogged their horses hard. firing at whatever you can really now there's no there's not much point being specific yeah, the regiment of course they didn't manage to get the gunners but when they route at least we'll get in another we'll get another unit of infantry in and we'll get to see where our reinforcements come in from Here come some European infantry mercenaries Let's keep... I mean, you have to keep working on it. Marines! A great unit. Run in. 
and they're from a they're reinforcing from a, an okay position as well so here comes a unit of marines plus a unit of swiss guards Infantry is picking away at the Swiss Guards. They may make it into combat, but that's okay. You men are going to pop some shots off at them as well. Yep. Shaken, wavering. Broken. Back you go. It looks like they're not going to attempt to cut our marines off. Which is great. Oh, sending in some lancers. I think they don't they don't want to attack. Some of them, the they've kind of attacked and realized actually there is no as it stands, there is no good way in. I mean, even if the marines, even if these marines take the gatehouse. Move our line infantry across. Well, no, not you, not marine, not militia. I mean, our own marines get in here. These Swiss grenadiers are going for the, uh, well, they all are now, actually. Not a bad idea. Let's get this this uh, this weak units of infantry over here as well, and this weak unit of militia. Yeah, I think they 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 sorely regret this this offensive. slightly yeah they they regret it they're falling back if we can knock out the these infantry attacking the the walls we're gonna be in fine position all these units ceasefires you're not doing anything except firing the backs of my own men That's a, yeah, the AI is scared of us. Which is bad news for them. Because it means they will continue. They will suffer. As though they lost the battle. They'll still suffer from it. You know, they're not gonna... Not gonna fix it. Let's get these regiments in the fight. They're already depleted anyway. You men stop firing. Once we destroy this attack, they'll have to work out what they want to do. Whether they they believe a reattack is valuable, which they appear to be doing. Use my howit both of my howitzers to engage then. It's lot. There's lots and lots of cavalry on the field. I want them to try go for it. Nearly accidentally hit the general's bodyguard. Oh yeah, you need to get in here as well, Marines. Yeah, conscripts are being ripped apart by the Swiss grenadiers. possibly get on the wall here see how well they last get the marines in here clear your way in
Here they come. At some point, are they going to be mostly an in, in almost entirely a cavalry based army? No, they still have some grenadiers, so it's spikes. Attempting to push, all right. Go back to round shotting some of their cavalry at range. Excellent, we've taken out the grenadiers. If you guys fire it well, you should engage the 23rd. Blast him! Accidentally so killed a bunch of my own marines here. <laughs> Back they go. Should always have left let them attack ground. Mercenaries are next up the line. Swiss guards are sticking around a lot longer than they than they previously have done. Lanvan militia is the next unit to be sent into the pot. Yeah, they don't want to send their cavalry in, so I want to knock out their infantry force as well as I can. So they end up... So they end up just charging in with their cavalry. Ideally, the 14th Regiment of Infantry will die. Will die. And then we can bring in a brand new unit. Pull the conscripts out so that the marines can get in. That's right, point the barrier. Oh, I hate it when this I hate it when there's multiple units on the walls. Run away! Bit of fratricide. Where's the small unit? Five men. Send them in against the mercenaries. Swiss line pushed and ran away. Cavalry's on the move. I hope they try a mass cavalry charge. That'd be super. Two infantry left. They're effectively fighting to the death. One left. I don't care if the unit dies, I want my reinforcements. He's on the floor! He's on the floor! Still fighting, he's still up and kicking. There he is. Got one. <laughs> no, don't get off the wall. There we go, a couple more units pushing in. So in an ideal world, nobody is on the if nobody's on our walls, then we're gonna be just fine. Because then when they push in through the get through the breach, we will cut them up. It sounds like they are determined to try and push through. I mean, that's a big cavalry advance. They've not got any... No holes in the wall are created. These men are going to defeat... Going to defeat the militia coming in. 
No, don't get off the wall. You're going to advance towards us and potentially use up some of our ammunition. Yes, that's right. Charge, God Core. No, <laughs> this fellow climbed down. Climbed off the wall. Get up off the wall. No, oh, they got him. That means it's time for reinforcements. Unit of engineers. Perfect. It's possible that my reinforcement my reinforcements may get interdicted on the way out, like these guys seem to be wanting to do, but if we do, we will have to uh, form square. Look at that. Artillery unit is pushed forward. Missiles are recovering. Here comes the guard corps. I mean, in theory, you should just hold fire and let them run in, but better to leave everything more automated. That way you don't make any mistakes. The Bosniaks. The first and the fifth Bosniaks have decided, actually, see these guys running away. They were really good. Maybe we don't want to go the same way. Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, we'll have our militia, superior line, Swiss grenadiers. So, they still have reinforcements able to come in. Excellent. That unit's broken. We won't be seeing them again. The second horse guards. They are depleted, but they fancy a go. There's just so many juicy targets in here. I mean, how could you not fancy charging in? Okay, you guys form square. Charging the one way where reinforcements are actually tricky. No, oh, they routed anyway. I mean, like, there's no... You have to pull back to here, which is which is doable. Which actually might be the smart call, now that their cavalry seems more determined to enter the field. Okay, these conscripts can now get in, apparently. Who's next, eh? Uh? Who's next? Because this howitzer unit's gonna go for you. Horse Grenadier Guards. But if you're just gonna sit here and waste everybody's time. Ooh, Swiss. No. Nah. Go for the Horse Grenadier Guards. Swiss Pikes cannot scale the walls, so that's fine. Just keep chipping away at the Grenadier Guards. Superior Line are coming in. Artillery is seemingly not trying to do anything. Sorry, I missed that superior line. They got they got blunted, but they've not been defeated. Okay, mass assault time. A couple of units of infantry, cavalry are coming in. They don't know where to go. They have no idea where they want to push. There's no brilliant way in. Oh, 
I might just halt fire, let the cavalry run in. Right, no fire at will. Okay, now their infantry's coming in, so we can't really do that. Cavalry are attempting to charge. Yeah, you can't push in. You have to take. You, well, these guys can't scale the walls. They have to climb the. They have to come in through the breach. Okay, let's fire our rounds short. They've, they've quit the quiet tactics. It is in here. Militia are here. I think they want to come into the armory. Yeah, big old push. Although they're, they're bunching up. If we had shrapnel shot, that would have been super. Can it, uh, canister shot will do. We're not able to attack close enough. Ideally, you men will form form up on both sides of the wall. Come on, finish loading. Pour fire under the Swiss bikes. They're wavering. They've standed. They've stood short. Big mistake. Here comes the cavalry. Mercenaries coming in, cavalry is coming in. Okay, I may have to position you like this. Still behind the still behind the stakes, but you're you can still fire into the center. Big old route. With quick line, this would have been a slaughter for them. I mean, it's still pretty bad. Yeah, the lances are coming in. Some of them are going to leak through, but the ones that leak through are going to hit the next one. Okay, they have actually committed to this final full-on assault now. There we go. Big route. Big route, and at least the carcass shot that we are that we are dropping does kind of damages people either just about to enter or have just left the breach. Okay, the horse grenadier guards are trying to push into the armory. Attack ground here to try hit these chaps. Swiss guards look like they're attempting to push. More cavalry. Let's try to hit the Swiss pikemen with some uh, carcass shot at range. Oh, that was a big miss. Needs to be some 
good hits. Yeah, you got some hit on the Polish cavalry coming in. Okay, we're starting to run short of ammunition. Here comes some more Polish cavalry. Come on, continue to advance. It's lovely in here. We have all sorts of juicy things you want to take. Marines are exhausted. They've dipped their lances. They want to have a go. Nope, they've changed their mind. Nope, they're coming in again. They've gone in straight for my conscripts, but my men are having none of it. Hey, they are actually... Pull the militia in. Pull more militia in. Get my engineers up here. Excellent. That's the superior line infantry defeated from the armory as well. Swiss Grenadiers coming in. A lot of wandering infantry being shot down by my infantry. They can't go anywhere except through gates and breaches, so... We're going to be quite heavily depleted at the end of this action, but it's very much going to be... I mean, if we can survive, the damage we'll do to the enemy is going to be huge. So we've got more troops who are going to try and scale the walls. Okay, let's fall another conscript unit up onto the wall. Hopefully these two will, these two units will, or two of these units will collapse and die. Green cease fire. Okay, let's commit a regiment of horse outside and start to see if we can sweep up some of these gun teams and other weak units. We've got a lance unit still out here, a unit of Bosniaks, although they look like they want to charge. The mercenaries are now in the fight. Now the Bosniaks are going for interested in our cavalry, so let's... let's get back inside. Don't give them an easy in. Even though they might, because we're probably going to have some guys stuck on the gate. Come on, where was that spot? There it was. So you guys get back to attacking here. They're double downing on trying to get through the gate. Let's get these conscripts down here. Make sure you're all in, because if we're in, even if we're fighting... If we're in, even if we're fighting, we will... Okay, you've run out of ammunition. Throw my engineers in. Reinforcements! See, this guy out here okay good now we are no longer stuck and we aren't trying to get outside 
crucially, the gates will close. Well, they should close anyway. Good, they've been repulsed. No engineers are in the mix. I mean, the gates should the gates should close. They do close. They're just being weird. Commit this line of unit over here just to make sure. My engineers. Swiss guards are down, Swiss grenadiers are up and fighting. Let's get you guys up here. Oh no, no need. You are doing great. And just like clockwork when we have a possible cavalry risk. There we go. See, the doors have closed like I knew they would. So now a bunch of them are just trapped in here. Nice. Yep, yeah, looks to me like the enemy are going to be screwed shortly. So the rest of the cavalry are going to have to run to get back together they're going to run in and around and through the barriers which is really nice you got a reasonable about amount of ammunition left so who's back there the goons Open the gates. So where's your friends? There they are. And they're all going to run straight in because they're already in combat. So the Lancers, the Bosniaks, they think they're doing really well. They're just about to lose a bunch of their friends. broken. Will they try and route through? Yes, they will. They're going to try and run away through our fort. Oh no, they're going to come out. That kind of sucks, but maybe we've got a, a default behaviour to pursue. Either way, though. Kill this regiment of horse, because after that, the only cavalry on the field is the, is this unit of death, Death's Head Hussars. We can go around and sweep up their artillery. So let's do that. And let's bring out our pikes. Because I believe... I mean, that artillery unit broke with nobody nearby. Artillery cease fire. You've got no ammunition, so maybe these dragoons are going to try and scale the wall. Yes, they are. Although I think I'm going to fight this battle. The majority of the rest is battle at triple speed. Pikemen to go in first. Suck up the enemy. Uh, let's, let's try tag them. Then my pikemen can go in and clear them out. Oh no, full break. Yeah, let's just end it there. Woo! Holy moly. That was a... Woo! That sure was a battle. But I think we came out ahead in the end. Some of our units were destroyed. Yeah, we lost a lot of men. This garrison's very vulnerable. 
this conscript unit lost their almost their entire unit, but nearly killed <laughs> killed 752 infantry. So the enemy is still a risk. There is a risk of follow-up attacks. I'm going to decline this attack. And as a result, they're actually going to attack me with fewer units. That's pretty good. Um, but we are going to want to maximize our artillery. Again, this is another hammer blow that's being dealt against us by these, these treacherous swine. Um, we need to weather it as well as we can, grow our strength, and then strike out. But first, I'm going to end the episode here. <laughs> because that was a... that was tiring. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the destruction of yet another uh, enemy force. Cheers, everyone.